Good morning, guys and girls and mom. Ken Smith, Ken Smith Fishing. So, uh, Grand Lake, BFL Regional. It's uh, it's a five to eleven on Saturday. I just got here. We had a long night. Had a flat tire. Had to feed the baby. Got a late start out of Dallas, but uh, we're gonna get a half day in up here today. We're gonna fish a full half day. I'm gonna walk you guys through practice, kind of day by day, according to how much footage I get. This may be uh, all practice in one show, or it may be day by day. We'll just see how it goes. But uh, so the lake is uh, 62 degrees. It's very, very more so than I've seen it in a while. I've been up here several times. Sorry. Uh, but what I the water has been up and down and up and down. These fish love to be shallow when they can. But looking at the forecast, I think we're going to have bluebird most of the week and falling water. So I'm going to sink some really shallow brush piles and stuff I can, uh, and when I say shallow, I mean three, four, five feet deep. Stuff that those fish that are going shallow, when they come back out, give them some wood to hide on. So uh, that's my main goal today is to get out these eight piles on spots that I can line up on. I'll show you what I'm doing. Uh, and then be able to come back to them late in the week and either throw a worm in them or more likely work a top water over the top of them. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. Hadn't been up here in since the coast of two years ago. So, but I got a lot of confidence in the lake even though it fishes really tough. So let's just go see what happens. Here we go. Well, uh, wow. So that's the first day, half a day on Grand. And I uh, had three bites. I'm not sure I could have caught any of them. I had one decent fish. I've got a little bit of video of it just right here. Kid, there was two kids right behind me that had just gone around me and they're fishing the tournament tomorrow so I didn't want them to see that fish but it was about a two pound spot I'm not even sure I could have caught that fish and uh, I had one whack of bug this morning that I don't think I would have caught and I just had one blow up on the top water here at the end of the day so I'm gonna keep working my way that way this water's pretty off color uh, I like the off color water but if I'm not getting dead I got to do something different so that is a one minute recap on day one. Yeah. Let's try day two, we'll see you on the morning. Okay, good morning. So day two, this is Sunday of my practice for the BFL Regional. And uh, you know, I, I should be really disheartened probably based on practice, but coming to Grand, you know it's gonna be tough. It's just Grand other than on the spawn generally, or if the water's real high. Water came down two tenths yesterday, which is a lot. Uh, you need to pay attention to that kind of stuff. They're pouring about 12,000 cubic feet per second out of the lake. So that shallow bite has disappeared. Uh, and hopefully they'll stabilize it this week. We got a brutal week of weather coming, super cold rainy, windy one day today out of the south, really strong this afternoon, tomorrow out of the north. So you just gotta go try to find some fish. I told my roommate, Tommy Mackey, I said, I just wanna get around an area where I feel like there's some fish and just deal with it. So I, I did, I felt better last night. I talked to a buddy of mine, Chris Torkelson, who's good up here, who's really good up here. And Chris said uh, he had uh, three keepers yesterday and uh, makes me feel better that it is tough because if they're biting he's catching them uh, I've come further south today so basically I had those three bites four bites whatever it was yesterday I've come further south looking for some clearer water which I've got here and uh, I'm just going to fish around down here and start fishing my way south and uh, if this doesn't work tomorrow we're going up to the mud so 
beautiful morning. East just flew overhead. We got a little pretty sunrise coming up right here. Holy cow. Look what I might have caught on the stupidest spot ever. That's a solid 15 inch keeper. This lake makes no sense. I just had one. Ouch, dang, that hurts. I just had one about three pounds come off the corner of that dock. Might have been bigger than that. And swirl on it and miss it. And that's a solid, solid keeper. Uh, that's exciting because those are good, deep, deep docks. Just when I started seeing bait fishing here. Ba boom, ba boom. Look at this fish. That is unbelievable. If that fish was 20 inches long, it'd weigh 12 pounds. That is the chubbiest, roundest little fish I have ever seen in my life.
GoPro, stop recording. Back to back. Junk right there. Oh, Put that walker popper up in about a foot of water. That's what we're looking for, kids. Ooh. 